Hello and welcome to another episode of Merklino Sweden videos here on YouTube. This time we're going to talk about lights and lights on your layout. Back in the days all of the lampposts you can buy in the shops they looked ugly and they looked very clumsy and that was because that they had replaceable lamps and then they had to make them too big. Today most are LED based and they start to look really good however they will cost you like a 10 euros each. If you have a small layout and you're looking for a nice alarm post, go and buy some. However, if you need many and you don't want to spend that amount of money but can invest a few minutes of time on each, I'll show you how to make a lamp post in 5 minutes, cost no more than 2 euros each. And in this tutorial I will show you how to make these. It's an ordinary lamp post in metal. All right, we're starting off by cutting the different pieces from our brass tube. This is the larger piece, which will be the concrete base. And thereafter, we're cutting the bottom part of the pole, which is the slightly smaller diameter brass tube. And lastly, we're cutting the top part of the pole, which we will uh, later fit the lamp to. The base in the lamp part uh, consists from a circuit board. It's a pre-made experiment board, which has etched copper lines and drilled holes. I'm using a metal file and uh, cut slots, which is 2mm wide, which is exactly the diameter of the top part of the pole. Next I am sawing the width of the lamp ahead of soldering the LED because it's much easier to, to cut this before soldering. It's very easy to damage the soldered components and it's very tricky to solder the components onto very small tiny PC boards. So it's better to have them fixed already. So here I've soldered the SMD LEDs on the circuit board and I test them one by one to make sure that uh, I've soldered them correctly and there is no short circuit and stuff. After that, I cut them loose from the, the bigger board. I'm removing the roughness of the edges with a little bit of sanding paper. And then the module looks like this. Now we completed all the necessary parts. Here's the lamp part, the smallest diameter top part of the pole, the bottom part and the concrete base. Now it's time for assembly. This lamp module can be mounted two ways. So this is the first way. And this is the way we will mount it in our application here. Let's start assembly. First thing is to put a 0.5 mm isolated copper wire through the top brass tube. Next, slide over the larger diameter bottom part of the tube over the top part like this now we're ready to solder these first i put on some solder paste which will uh, simplify the the flow of the tin on the surfaces of these tubes Next, I start to heat the, the brass tubes together and add soldering tin like this. Also, at the same time, rolling it back and forth so I make sure that I get a good flow all around. It looks like this when it's ready. Then, it's time to solder the base part, the concrete uh, socket. And I solder it uh, like one centimeter up. On the, on the lower part and that is because uh, when I mount these on the layout I want uh, to have the brass tube, the bottom brass tube to stick through the, 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 the mounting board. Let's bend the top part now so it gets that characteristic look we want. I bend my over a 4.5 millimeter drill 
but uh, that can be adapted to whatever look you want. Then I bend the copper wire upwards and I mount, I stick the lamp part onto the brass tube like this. So now we got the lamp part in place, ready for soldering. Then first I I put the heat on the tube and not so much on the circuit board and when I got it all warm I add tin all over so it solders properly. Once it cooled down a bit I add a bridge between the, the solder pad where I uh, soldered the pipe and the solder pad where the LED is soldered to. This way I avoid heating the LED so much uh, when soldering the pipe. Then let, let's remove the isolation of the copper wire. I do this with a, a razor blade or something similar. Great, now we remove the isolation of the copper wire in the, in the top end and uh, then it's time to attach electrically connect the copper wire to the LED anode. The cathode is already attached to the lamp post, the lamp pole. So uh, this, uh, the copper wire will be attached to, to, to the other side. So I just push it down a bit like that. Hey, we're getting somewhere here. All right, time to solder the copper wire onto the tiny piece of circuit board up there. Well, quite easy. All right, now it's time to solder the one kilo ohm resistor uh, to the inner part. So I stick it into the tube and I solder it on the inside of the tube. I then apply a layer of epoxy to fill out any crevices and give the lamp a more realistic shape. This is what it looks from the side and this one the looks from the top. Lastly, I paint the lamp first in black to seal any light leaks and then in the actual colors. Lastly, I add a diode on the copper wire. All right, and here they are. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Merklin of Sweden channel here on YouTube. See you next time.